Hi, welcome to Atkins Diet in the Kitchen. My name is Kent Altman, and this week we're going to be making a low carb recipe that's a takeoff of the White Castle pie that you'll find on Linda's low carb website. I highly recommend that website if you haven't checked it out. Uh, it's in one of the number one resources for low carb recipes on the net. So come along with me as we cook up Big Mac pie. So I have one and a half pounds of ground beef cooking in the, in the frying pan. To this I'm going to add one heaping tablespoon of chicken bouillon. To this we're going to add two tablespoons of dried onion. A tablespoon of parsley. And these don't have to be exact. I'm going to add two teaspoons of onion powder. And finally, a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, now that I have it mixed through each other, I'm going to let the ground beef finish browning on the stove, and we'll catch back up at that point. All right, welcome back. My ground beef is done. Now, as everyone knows, a Big Mac is two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, onion pickles on a sesame seed bun. So here we go, and we're going to prep it up. So I'm going to put my ground beef in this bowl over here. All right, so you might be wondering what the special sauce is. Well, often it's just Thousand Island dressing. Well, most Thousand Island dressing is very high carb. Well, I've made a low carb Thousand Island dressing over here, and I have that recipe um, already posted to YouTube. I'm gonna reuse it here. It's one of my friends, Bonnie, uh, favorite salad dressing, so I'm gonna make this in honor of her. I'm gonna put a half a cup of low carb salad dressing in there. To this we're going to add the cheese. This is cheddar cheese. I'm going to add a full 8 ounces. To this I'm going to add some sour cream. One fourth cup. Now I'm going to add um, some three eggs that I'm going to just quick beat them before I put in. And the only ingredient I haven't added yet are some dill pickles. So I'm going to quick give these a rough chop. If you don't like dill pickles, you could use the new sugar-free gherkins, sweet pickles from Vlasic or Mount Olives. All right, that's roughly oh one fourth cup of pickles, and now I'm going to mix this all together. All right. So my mixture is done. I'm going to put in this 8 by 11 uh, baking dish. Smooth it out. And we'll start. 
All right, we're gonna put it in our 375 degree preheated oven for roughly 30 to 35 minutes. We'll catch back up at that point and I'll show you the finished product. Thank you guys for watching. All right, welcome back. The timer just went off. All right, you can see that it developed a good crust on top from the cheese. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope this reaches everyone in great health. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.